We've got more coming on in on that plane, and we will get to that in a minute. But first, we want to bring you this. Some fiery words on the House floor sending shockwaves through the U.S. As the White House confirms a piece of legislation designed to force President Obama to follow the law will likely be vetoed if it reaches his desk. That bill wound up passing the House and listen to what the bill's lead sponsor had to say when he pitted then-Senator Obama's own words against President Obama's policies. These last few years we've seen an unacceptable abuse of power, having a president whose priority is expanding his own power. Any guess on who said that, Mr. Speaker? It was Senator Barack Obama. Here's another one. No law can give Congress a backbone if it refuses to stand up as a co-equal branch. The Constitution made it. What do we do with a president who can basically change what Congress passed by attaching a letter saying, I don't agree with this part or that part? I and he went on from there. Trey Gowdy is a South Carolina Republican on the House Oversight Committee and co-author of the Enforce the Law Act. Congressman, good to see you. And so there you are comparing what then-Senator Obama said to what President Obama has done. You're trying to find a way to rein him in. What are your chances of actually succeeding since the White House is now saying, good luck with that. We're going to use our pen to veto your bill if we ever get it. Well, he said he was going to veto it. Uh, I, I was having an interesting time w listening to the debate between Senator Obama and President Obama, but one of the clips that wasn't played, Megan, and you're a very, very good attorney, so y you'll appreciate this. He blamed the Supreme Court uh, for executive overreach and, and, and promised that if he were the president, uh, he would support efforts to rein in executive overreach. Uh, one reason that folks in my line of work are not popular is because people view us as being guilty of duplicity. If our team's in charge, we have one set of rules. If our team's not in charge, we have another set of rules. I think people are tired of that. I think they want the executive to enforce the law no matter which party is in power. Does this relate to Obamacare and all of the executive actions we've seen him take on that, or is it broader than that? Because I know on immigration, you know, his sort of executive order to in part pass the DREAM Act, you know, to offer, um, you know, legal status to, to many in this country, has upset a lot of folks, including yourself as well. Well, the example I usually cite is mandatory minimums. Mandatory minimums have been around in drug cases for 25 years, uh, and their constitutionality has been, been upheld. So when the attorney general, who's a member of the executive branch, just summarily announces he is no longer going to in, inform courts on the drug amount, you put that with, with immigration laws and 20-some-odd and waivers with the Affordable Care Act and the rhetoric. You know, the president came into the House of Representatives and essentially said, I'm going to do it with you or without you. So it's a combination of his rhetoric uh, uh, as well as his uh, failure to, to follow the law that mm -hmm. led us to introduce this. I, I ask because tonight we had news that the, the president has, um, he met with members of the Congressional Hispanic Caucus and told them that he's asked the Secretary of Homeland Security to do an inventory of DHS's current practices to see how they can be conducted more humanely within the confines of the law. So we may be getting more executive action. My last question to you, um, do you believe that the president uh, is going to do more of this now that he increasingly has lawmakers running away from him rather than toward him? Quick answer, please. It depends on whether we let him get away with it or not, Megan. It depends upon we live in a, whether we live in a country where the end justifies the means or whether process matters. So uh, the people can stop all of us from doing things like this. Congress, maybe not so much. Congressman Trey Gowdy, thanks for being here. Yes, ma'am.